Hey everybody, I'm David. Good to see you again. Sorry it took so long to post one of these videos. It's been a couple weeks, but it's been a crazy last couple weeks. So, um, I have some mail. Actually, mail's been kind of piling up the last, uh, since the last video. I have four letters, which I will try to read through. And if the video gets too long, then I will um, open these letters next time. So, uh, I do have a package that actually came last month. So, I am so sorry for not opening this sooner. But thank you for your patience person who sent this. It's actually from Switzerland, so I'm super excited because I love, like I told you before, getting stuff from overseas. On the package it says two wooden letters. That made me curious. Please open letter first. Hello Mr. Dr. S5. Hello David. I'm an ocarina addict living in Zurich, Switzerland, and have been introduced to ocarinas in 1976 by the film 1900 featuring the GLB, as you know, the Grupo Acrinistico Budres. In 2010, 2010, 35 years later, a person living in your neighborhood, figure one on your left, Doc Jazz 6 video, kind of introduced me to the Ocarina world of YouTube. There's a picture here, and it's Chris, whom he blocked out for some reason. Ocarina Diva, for those of you who don't know. We met at the International Ocarina Festival in Budrio, where I had the opportunity to give away what can be seen below in Figure 2. That leads me to my next topic, Mailbag Wednesday, or Thursday now. I could not believe my ears as I heard you say that for the lack of contributions, you simply would stare at the camera until time over. What a horrible thought. I immediately felt that the urge to get busy about that. As on the one hand, my ocarina playing skills are not worth being listened to outside my practice room, and on the other hand, my ocarina collection does not want to be reduced in number. I had to figure out something else. Fortunately, one of the last Mailbag Wednesday videos gave me the final hint. You certified that your first name was definitely David, not Stephen. With that statement, you unwillingly propelled yourself to the same league as the President of the United States in the office is a member of, at least in one special respect. <laughs> not till then I knew what it would be. Not a piece of art, as you propose in your presentation, but let's say a piece of workmanship. Something that does not have anything to do with the ocarina, except for the relation to your, you, to your person. Enjoy unboxing, and, and keep up your fantastic work. Kind regards, Tom. It's a wooden box. With a rubber band. A uh, bow. That's super awesome. Okay, so four rubber bands are off. It's an actual box with hinge, like, it's got little hinges in it. That is so cool. Dude. It's my initials, made of wood. I am flabbergasted. Wow. That is... Really, really cool. Thank you so much, Tom. That is just really awesome of you. And the box is really cool, too. Now it's time to get to some of your letters. So the first letter... Actually, let's see. Which ones came first? I don't even know. So this first letter is from Bryce out of Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania. And your name looks really familiar. So I'm pretty sure I've... We're either friends on Facebook or you've sent me something before. Alright, so, Bryce sent me two papers with some ocarina drawings on them, which I don't know how well you can see that. He drove a tra transverse and a pendant, and then on the next page, an inline, and then some music, and he put classical. Hey David, thank you for answering my previous question about MP3s. That's right. When I heard you call my name, I dropped everything in my hands and rewinded the video a few seconds. Thank you for being an inspiration for playing the ocarina. My friends in my band class were very amazed at my ocarinas. And now I have a new question. My videos are not at a quality that I like because they are being recorded by YouTube's webcam uploading option. What would be the best way of recording and editing without using Mac software? Thanks, your fan, Classic B. I remember you now. The best advice I can give you for making really good videos when it comes to editing and quality-wise is I like to record uh, the audio on my computer using uh, a nice microphone. Um, like these I have here are kind of professional quality. 
Um, this is a SM58 um, by Shure, which is a very well-known brand. And um, it doesn't have to be that. There's less expensive. This is like a $100 microphone, but they sell them cheaper than that. And um, I like to record the video separately. Like right now, I'm recording on a, a Kodak Play Touch, which I don't really like that much, actually. Um, so I'm going to be investing in another camera pretty good, pretty soon. Uh, phone cameras work very nicely. They're just getting higher and higher quality uh, today. So if you have an iPhone or a friend who has an iPhone or even an iPod Touch or um, just any camera that you know has good quality, uh, record the video with your video camera, then record the audio with something high quality, like a tape recorder that has high quality or uh, even your phone. Your phone can have high quality as well. Um, if it's a good brand phone. And, um, but like I said, recording it into the computer, I like to use the pre program Audacity. A U D A C I T Y. Audacity. Yeah. It's free. It's, uh, it's a, some software that professionals use. It's for Mac, PC. I think it's for Linux as well. And, um, it's great. It's got lots of different options and effects and all kinds of stuff. Um, I'll put a link in the description for that. And then, um, if you have a PC, uh, you can go into uh, Windows Movie Maker and then put the two together. You just drop in the audio from uh, your recording, whatever you use to record it, uh, and then you drop in the video over it, and then you just sync them up together. Um, just line them up using the, the timelines. It's really easy, it's not that hard to do. And um, yeah, Audacity is pretty cool about that. There's a lot of video software out there as well, but I don't know of any that's free other than the stuff that comes with your computer, like Windows Movie Maker or um, um, iMovie for Mac. Um, but I think if you go to somewhere like the Opera Network, you can check out all the different research that people have done on the same topic. So thanks for writing again. Next, we have a letter from Kara, or Kara, K A R A, from Decatur, Georgia. And. Kara, or Kara, correct me in the comments please if you're watching this, writes, Hi David, I discovered the Ocarina in February of 2011 when a friend convinced me to play the N64 with her. Later that day I researched the Ocarina and found your YouTube channels. A few weeks later I had my first Ocarina, a six hole seed pot soprano from Songbird. Throughout the last year I have learned to play and have fun with, this, with the, the six hole and the twelve hole Ocarinas. Now I'm looking for something else to challenge me and I'm considering a double sweet potato Oc. The only problem is that doubles seem really intimidating. Have any tips to help me out, and which double would you recommend? Sincerely, Kara Richardson. P.S. I find your videos really inspiring and enjoyable to watch. Thanks for being there with me from the beginning. You're very welcome. And thank you for the Pokemon stickers. She sent me a Pokeball, and I don't know what Pokemon that is. And then another Pokeball. Yay! Doubles are not as tim as intimidating as they they seem. Um, the double is really a combination of two different ocarinas, and the first part of it, or the first chamber, as we call it, is really just the 12 hole ocarina. And I can show you here. So this is a double sweet potato that's available on songbirdocarina.com, and um, this is the Dolce model. They also have the Forte, and you can see here that really if you if you uh, cut off this line of holes here, it's just a 12 hole ocarina. You have the, the main eight holes and the two sub holes, and on the back, it's less one sub hole. So the highest that the first chamber will go is E flat. And then you have a second ocarina attached to it to increase the range, which is this part here. And if you know how to play a 12 hole, then you have the hardest part down. Um, the next thing that you need to work on is chamber switching. And so you can see here that it's divided into two separate chambers. Annoying music is annoying. So you can see here that this is divided into two separate chambers. And what you have to practice doing is covering the first hole with your lips and not blowing into the, the next chamber, which really doesn't take that long. So the last hole that you uncover is D, unless you're going to play E flat. But usually if you're playing the C scale, you uncover the left thumb hole, and then you switch to play E on the second chamber. E, F, G, A, B, and C. So with a little bit of practice, 
it, it comes pretty naturally. It's not as difficult, like I said, as it may appear. Thank you for your question, and thank you for the stickers. Next, we have a letter from Clayton, and he put a Triforce sticker on the back. I think. Actually, it's a drawing. He put a Triforce drawing. And Clayton writes, Hey, Doc Jazz. My name is Clayton, and I'm 10 years old and live in Missouri. I was wondering, since you make ocarinas, if I could buy one from you. I can only afford about $35. Also, where can you buy a sweetheart ocarina? My friend and I looked all over for it, and we can't find it. Please check out my YouTube account, the Nintendo Guy 77 Please respond by sending me a message or video on YouTube. I guess this counts as a video on YouTube. I I do occasionally, well, I say occasionally, but I used to make ocarinas more. I don't really make them um, that much. Like, they were really just, for me, for my understanding of how to make ocarinas, I don't make them professionally or anything. Um, but as... In terms of a $35 ocarina, um, I just talked about Songbird Ocarina with that double ocarina. And they have an excellent uh, selection for ocarinas under $35, um, which are mostly their Focal Link ocarinas. And um, Focal Link makes extremely uh, awesome, well toned, and um, comfortable ocarinas. And I would recommend, let me see here, let's go to the website. So for $35, you could get the plastic Alto C 12 hole, and those are fantastic. They're like 25 bucks. So with shipping, it probably comes out to your price range. Uh, if you want a clay ocarina, I don't think there's any clay ocarinas for $35. Um, yeah, there's a Soprano C for $40, not including shipping, which is also a really good ocarina. And then if you want a six hole, I would probably recommend the the Alta Sea Ocarinas are really awesome. Uh, the Sea Pod Ox are nice. Those are $22. And um, video game thing. The Shield Ocarina is 40 and that one's pretty good too. Your other question was about the Sweetheart Ocarina and this is an ocarina that actually requires two people to play. Cat, no! My cat was stitching my seat. So, this ocarina requires two people to play, and as they're playing, they have to stare into each other's eyes, which is why they call it the Sweetheart Ocarina. And this ocarina is made by a company in Seattle called Clay's, Clayziness Whistleworks. Or Clay, if you go to clays.com, you can spot them there. They don't make them uh, in large batches. They usually make them one at a time, and so you have to custom order it. And I believe their contact information is on their website. Stop it! She's trying to eat candy. So go to clays.com and find their email. You can also find them on Facebook. They have uh, their own uh, Facebook page, which is probably an easier way to get in touch with them. So clays.com or Facebook. Clays and this works. Or clays. And finally, without further ado, we have a letter from Germany, which is pretty cool. Dear David, I am Marcel, and I send you this letter because I want to thank you for all your ocarina videos. It really helped me, and now I can play much better. But I have some questions. Which ocarina is your favorite? Uh, there's a couple questions, so I will just answer them one at a time. My favorite ocarina is actually from Austria, which is pretty close to you. Um, this is my Water C3, which is a Alto C ocarina, and the tone is fantastic. It doesn't have 12 holes, so some people see it as a negative, but this is one of the best ocarinas I've ever heard. And it feels really comfortable, and um, it looks extremely professional. So this is, yeah, definitely my favorite. Which ocarina shop is better, Songbird or STL? Songbird. They have impeccable customer service, which is probably enough um, when just comparing the two. I've heard a lot of troublesome things about STL Ocarina. In fact, you can see a lot of reviews about some um, past um, occurrences or circumstances that just make me uncomfortable about STL Ocarina. Um, but Songbird, time after time after time, have done amazing jobs with their customer service and just making sure that the customer is happy 100%. 
Uh, and then not to mention that the ocarinas are great too. The STL ocarinas are okay. Um, STL gets all their ocarinas from a company in Taiwan called TNG. And Songbird Ocarina makes half their ocarinas and the other half come from a company in Taiwan called Vocalink. And I think, uh, for the most part, Vocalink makes much better ocarinas than TNG. And, um, they're just as concerned about making top quality products as Songbird is. So that's an awesome partnership. So, uh, I would definitely go with Songbird Ocarina. Which music program do you use for your videos? I use two programs when I make my videos. I use iMovie, um, for actual, actually editing the video together. And then I use GarageBand for, um, actually I take the back. I now mostly use Final Cut Express for video editing, but for audio recording, I use GarageBand, which is, they're both programs for Mac. Although, I did used to use um, Windows Movie Maker when I was first starting out. I probably used Windows Movie Maker for my first year of making videos, so that's not too bad. I mean, it, it cannot do as much as you, as I wanted it to do, which is why I, one of the main reasons I purchased a MacBook. But, um, it's pretty good for just starting off and doing some basic editing. Sincerely yours, Marcel. Yeah, sorry if my English is bad. Your English is pretty good. I didn't have any trouble reading it, so thank you so much for your, your letter. Again, everybody, I want to apologize for not making a mailbag video sooner. I actually have a couple more letters that I ha I just got in the mail today, but I'm going to wait till next week to open those up. So if you sent me something, it will be next week. And thank you guys, everybody, for sending me stuff. It's just, like I said, it's overwhelming, and I just, uh, I really appreciate you guys reaching out. Um, and uh, I hope I continue to um, make you guys happy enough to <laughs> want to keep sending me stuff. Thank you guys so much again, and I will see you next week.